areas of temptation, which we only talk about one, but we never talk about the other, but I want to talk about that, uh, that one. And it comes from, first, Babes Odup. They say that day she was sitting with a friend of hers, all of a the sudden they were kissing. Now bear in mind, this is supposed to be a married woman. Yeah. And so now she's now kissing a, a random guy. But uh, that's actually just part of the subject. This actually takes me straight to this particular pastor from Kenya. Uh, the story was out, I think, about two, three days back. I didn't talk about it. I just kind of left it there. But it fits with this story. <laughs> it fits perfectly like this. This pastor's wife was busy doing some weird dodgy stuff. She was going supposedly for meetings on Thursday. Can't I? There's no meetings on Thursday. The pastor's wife is going to a particular gym instructor. Mm. He's helping her stretch in very fascinating ways. Stretch your and share with daily Christian commentary videos. I'm going to talk about those particular two areas of temptation that I want us to, to go into. First, the video of Babes Hotu came out. I don't know, as I stated. I don't know if it was done on Instagram or what. But they were live. And um, she just, you know, but the guy was really waiting. Eh? The guy really was busy pouting to, to show that this is a normal behavior. This is something that, you know, they've just been doing. And so uh, when she eventually sees him, hi, it is what it is. So which goes back into that thought. You know, sometimes we have a perception of what we want to portray our temptations as in public. But then there is the inner one. And that inner one I'll talk about just in a second. Con uh, considering this particular second story. Let me tell you the second story before we go into that lesson. So, one, this particular pastor, there's articles about it. You can actually read about it. AMT7 also published a video. The, the pastor's wife was said to be leaving. I don't know if it was Thursdays or Tuesdays. Mm. And she would be going, saying that she's going to meet prayer, prayer warriors. Hey, she's going to meet church members. No, she wasn't. She was going to the gym. You'd be like, ah, she was going to the gym. What's up with going to the gym? It's not that she was going to the gym. It's that she was going to the gym for particular special sessions. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So they, they said this gym instructor was making this pastor's wife to be, to be stretching very funny, weird positions, you know, all those funny, weird things. Like there's been pictures on social media where you might have seen. What you would say, this is uncomfortable, but the, the gym instructor is making this, this woman do. So that's what the pastor's wife was going. I remember speaking about this with someone, a very late call, and we we're talking about the two areas of sin. There's two areas where we, where we have temptation. In the same area, but two different ones. Like, for example, sexual temptation, it presents itself in two areas. The public conversation like how is how we are tempted all the same way like the sight uh, thought all that kind of stuff you see something that's just an, a very very tempting and stuff like that and then it just kind of takes you on from there that's the one we mostly talk about you see that one we will mostly talk about that but there is the inner temptation there is the inner workings that the, as a matter of fact, when the Bible speaks about this particular, it's the same. It's in the same area. It could be in the area of sexual temptation, but it presents itself in such a way that you don't even talk about it to the public. The Bible says, be careful of the sin that so easily besets you. So it's in that particular block. It's the way it presents itself. Now, the reason why I wanted to talk about this particular area of sin or this particular area of temptation, which is the second level we never talk about. Like a person can say, hey, no, I was just a small little tempted. Or, but they will never say like what or how or where, what not. Not that you should because people might take advantage of that. To note the different areas, even couples, like you will hear couples say, no, you know, we were, we were just sitting and then all of this, something happened. Guess what causes the something happened? What causes the something happened is that there is this area of temptation which we are aware at the back of our mind, but we are willing to allow. We are willing to allow. Because at the back of our mind, we are like, ah, should this happen? I'll just go along. That's, that, that's the thing that I really wanted to... So you see, the pastor's wife, she could go to this gym instructor because that second area of temptation was appealing. She was hey, just allow this one. <laughs> Let me just indulge myself. And then, boom, it landed her in this particular position. Babes, she's supposed to be married. 
that she allowed someone to be that close to her to a point where this person is openly willing for them to show these secret affections that they have together. And she doesn't want to disappoint him, so she goes along. There are two areas where we are tempted. There is the one we can talk about out in the public. But then there is that inner one. And that inner one, Bazarani, that's where we all fall. Is because that one you are willing to compromise with. Mm. There, is that one, there is that one area which if it comes, you are more easily willing to go with. And that's the one that we should be watching over. The worst thing that could happen for Babe Zodumu is to have a supposed friend. A friend, you know all these things, all these friends. Things, is to have a supposed friend whom she is willing to allow into the area of temptation. You know, you have a maybe lighter skin than Mapincha. <laughs> or whatever that is. But this area of temptation, it's always there. But it's never the one that we talk about. When we talk about it, we talk about the generals. How you saw you do it. Oh, you were tempted by something that you saw, magazine, a picture online, Instagramations and stuff like that. Whatever it may be. But there is always that one inside. That you are like, this one, I am more willing. And that's the one that I would say, that's the one you start watching over. It's the actuality show. The worst thing that could have happened for Babe Zodu or for her to be trending whatnot after this video, it's because why? That area where she's willing to be tempted by maybe a more handsome guy or whatever it is, happens to be someone who is supposedly a friend. That could be the worst thing that could happen to you. It's Ricky and I'll see you on a later. Other episodes down today, down in the pick comments, I thought I should bring this out. It's something I thought about and I had a conversation with someone about it. But I thought it was worth talking. So I thought, Ben, a bonus episode it is. And I'll see you later before the Lord Shading does its own thing today. I saw I have very little time before it does so. Y'all be good. Salut.